Welcome back, and thanks for tuning in to Real Scene TV. We're gonna keep things moving and toss it to our real estate expert, Adam Ketron, as he gives us some inside tips on buying and owning a home. Danielle joins him. We're at 922 Fairfield between College and Fall Creek in Indianapolis, and we're back with Adam Catron from FC Tucker, who is going to tell us today about how to spruce up your curb appeal and the overall look of your house. So if you're in the seller's market, pay attention. Well, this home has three bedrooms, one and a half baths, has just over 2,200 square feet with a full basement. Right now it's listed at 124.9. And curb appeal is one of the biggest things that you can do on a budget to really increase the value of your home and bring in those buyers. And you don't have to break the bank either. It can be a very simple solution, potted plants, painting. That's right. Uh, paint really goes a long way inside the home and outside the home. And you could do something like this, which add a little bit of color to the home, or you could simply just go to your home improvement store, get some potted plants, and that will actually add a lot of curb appeal on a pretty good budget. Statistics show that a staged home a well-painted, maintained home really does bring a higher dollar amount than if you had a home that you didn't do anything to. It doesn't take a lot and you don't have to be the best painter in the world really to come in and make a room look like somebody would want to come in and live here. Darker colors tend to make rooms seem a little bit smaller. So if, if you have a smaller area like that, like a breakfast nook or maybe a small bathroom, if you go with a light blue or beige or a green, just a very light color, just really can kind of open things up a little bit. So we've got the paint on the walls, the plants, and the landscaping done outside. So what's the last step we need to do before we put that sign in the front yard? The last couple of things you can do would be getting the furnace serviced, also get your air conditioning serviced, um, and cleaning the gutters, which will also help with the curb appeal. At that point, you've got all the paint on, you've got the curb appeal rocking, you're ready to be on the market. All right, so you're cleaning, you're prepping the house, getting everything ready to go. What's another simple way to catch a buyer's eye? Well, I am always about doing the least amount as possible to, to get the home sold, especially if a seller's on a budget. Two things that I always tell people to do, declutter and depersonalize. Uh, sometimes when there's a lot of family photos on the wall and you've got the wall of fame from grade eight to grade 12, it's kind of distracting sometimes with the photos, but you get those all cleared out. It kind of gives you a blank palette for the buyers to come in and see what they could do with the place. And helps them visualize their own home personal belongings in the yeah, house. Yeah, sometimes people think that when there's couches and pictures and things like that on the wall, that that's where things have to go. So if you take those things off, it does help them visualize. If you happen to be in a seller's market and you're interested in learning more about how to spruce up your curb appeal or the overall appearance of your home, log on to realscenetv.com and click on our Real Estate Minute tab for Adam's latest blog postings. And we'll be back August 24th with our favorite realtor. We'll see you then. We want to hear from you. So send us your questions and we'll get you the answers. In fact, Adam will show his real estate expertise right there with you. So just send us a message on Facebook or email us at rstv at realscenetv.com.